All right, everyone. It's me, Judson Chan. Oh boy, why am I referring back to the old intro? Anyway, I uh, wanted to end up on the bed at 3 a.m. last night. Another session of rage playing cross out. I'm so desperate for like a free-to-play PvP game with progression that yeah, spending quite a bit of hours. Uh, but, you know, I'm still making experimental builds. I uninstall and reinstall, and funny enough, it turns out that when you uninstall, it doesn't actually uninstall. You have to actually delete the folder afterwards. I think the cross-out developers realize people constantly, you know, <laughs> they constantly uninstall and reinstall, so just to save bandwidth and headaches, they just don't delete it. See, so you do delete it manually. Well, that's okay. I, I feel fine. I mean, I feel a little groggy, but, yeah, whatever. I mean, I consider this week probably going to be an easy week, thank God. Because apparently there's really just not a lot of launches going on. Like, today we're just doing two videos. We're doing this one, and the next one is actually something Halogenics recommended in the Elite Discord. It's actually a very different project, so... Uh, yeah, but, you know, we'll talk about it then. It, it's actually a legit fitness app that pays you in cryptocurrencies. I think that's what it is. So we'll, we'll check it out uh, when we do that video. Alright, so I got this from Murdoch and Yada Crypto. Uh, yesterday they did the video on it and they said it's not launched. Now it's been, now it's launched. So already the ballot, contract balance is pretty high, so that's good. Uh, what's also interesting is they have the treasury balance, which I assume will be used to buy back into this or something. Uh, okay, so maybe this is actually better than BNB shares because there, I don't see any crazy referral systems. Because one thing I didn't actually mention or realize is that, uh, whatchamacallit, Having a multi-tiered level of referrals actually drains your contract a lot faster uh, in the hope that more money will come in than you are paying out in affiliate commissions. Right? And then you still have to worry about people self-referring themselves, which is a problem. So uh, what's nice about this project, as you can see down here, it says you can only hire new chefs if you have over 1.08 million dishes. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. How, if you, how you deposit if you don't. And then it's like, oh, okay. Hiring chefs is compounding. So you can only compound if you put a lot of money in up front. So I don't know how much this is, 1.08 million dishes, but I assume over time that this will go down in value, so it'll be easier and easier to compound. But with that being said, I like that there's some kind of limit in here, uh, you know, so that people actually have to put in quite a bit of dough. Now, whether it's sustainable or not, we'll have to see, but at least they have a treasury balance. I mean, I assume they all have treasury balances. That's what the taxes are for, but I mean, they're, they're, at least this project seems to be pretty pretty upfront about it. Uh, for now, I'm definitely not getting my money back on a lot of these shitty minor projects, right? Because, you know, because the contract always keeps going down. I mean, my BNB Cherry's income is already down like 60% already. And that contract is draining uh, really fast, too, so it's like, what the hell? So, so far, it's only baked beans, but baked beans have been going down, too. And to be honest, I think only BNB Minor Finance is, like, the only proven one, right? Because you don't really need a high rate of return. 3% is already enough. You just need something sustainable, so, yeah. And I've kind of noticed, someone puts in, like, 30 Binance coins into BNB Minor, so I assume it's actually funny enough... Uh, it might be the dev of BNB Miner using a small portion of his profits to like pump it back up or something. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Anyway, uh, this project supposedly has a bunch of this stuff, right? So I always kind of assume this is bullshit until uh, proven otherwise. However, the graphics do look extremely good. And that's really important for NFT stuff. So maybe this might actually be worth it for me to take yet another gamble, but... I, don't know, I guess we'll wait and see. If something's really that good, it'll be it'll be sustainable. So I can just come in later, and that also means that these I guess dishes or chefs will be a lot cheaper for me to buy in the future anyway, because the price will the price of these because these are actually tokens, right? You just can't trade them. But when you put your money in, you get these tokens, dishes and chefs in this case, your miners and your I don't know diamonds and rubies. 
So that will just get cheaper over time, which is why your APR goes down as well. Your daily, you know, your daily rewards that is. So, so what I like is they already have their links down here, and they have both a Twitter and a Discord and a Telegram, right? And of course, I think this is their you know, GitHub. So, oh man, I may need to sneeze here. I might need to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. That means my nostrils are very dry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, whatever. It's The stuff is not out yet. So, so, right off the bat, you know, you don't know who's making this. You could assume that all these claims that they're making is bullshit. That's what you always do, right? Because assume everything's a scam and work backwards, etc., etc. Right? I mean, unless you're new to this channel, then, you know, that's how I always operate. Assume everything's a scam and then work backwards from there. Because you just don't know if a project's legit or not, right? I mean, unless unless it's like the project I'm covering in the next video, because that's on Google Play and Apple at uh, iStore or App Store or whatever they call it now, right? So I already know they already passed all the legitimacy che uh, checks. So, but with that being said, um, this doesn't look too bad. And oh yeah, look, you know, my patience has paid off. Like the, the contracts are already draining a little bit. I right? went from twenty six forty to minus point forty one Binance coin. But aside from that, you know, it looks really good. Yada Crypto says he's not doing any videos for the rest of this week. I didn't really bother at a point. I only played it for like five, ten seconds before I, you know, just like, okay, I can only just get the link. So, you know, maybe they'll be able to do these things. I'm assuming that they're not, right? They're just saying stuff. But if they're telling the truth, then it should work out really well for uh, CZ's Kitchen. And again, I do like the graphics here. It looks really, really good. This is very well done. Um, so your deposit fee appears to be 8%. Now, apparently there does not seem to be a withdrawal fee, which is a problem. I mean, some tax is better than no tax, but... Uh, let's just take a look. How about... How about I search this for tax? Oh, here we go. Well, according to this, it says it's an 8% tax on everything. And there's no tax for compounding. And it does say hire chef. So obviously, the guy who basically copied and pasted, he obviously at least changed this page, which means he would have read this part, right? The guy who's run actually running the website or project. And it says 8% tax on everything. So he obviously had to have read that and go, oh, okay, yeah, we do want to tax everything. Okay, so for now, I'm going to assume that this is an 8% tax on everything. Therefore, the gap is 0%. All right, so 8% daily, but 8% taxes. So I like that a lot. This is actually better than BNB cherries already. So it should theoretically be more sustainable. Uh, problem is, I already got, again, a bunch of minor projects going down in value. So, you know what? I think I'll actually add this to the playlist. I'll put in like, I'll put in like one. Yeah, I'll put in one Binance coin. All right, just one, just one. I'm not obviously I'm not gonna do my referral link because I, because I'd rather give up the money and make sure that the contract the 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 project survives. Right, so that's good for me and for all of you. All right, so I'll 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 take a small gamble. I'm willing to do this because I was gonna say no because I don't want to see an eight percent deposit tax but a zero percent withdrawal. But according to the white paper and from the way I look at it, all right, using logic, you know, it does look like it is eight percent withdrawal. So, I'm going to put a small money in. Let me see. In fact, yeah, the thing just went up a little bit. And, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to hope. I mean, I don't think this is stu this stuff is going to happen. This marketplace incubator paid-to-earn stuff. But, you know, maybe it will. I mean, the guy at least did took the effort to, like, both make a Discord and a Telegram. So, you know. Uh, let me see. This work out. Mur not murder, Murdoch, DeFi, Twitter. He's got to have a Twitter. Um, it's kind of insane that despite how big your YouTube channel is, the amount of Twitter followers that you get from that is like so much smaller as a percentage. Parallel Trade NFT is launching now. I don't see people uh, in his replies complain that this is a scam. So, okay. All right. Well, also I'll be uh, feeding off of Murdoch DeFi's YouTube for content ideas because right now the shit is just dry. 
All right, so anyway, you can check out uh, CZ's Kitchen. I'm going to gamble one Binance coin. All right, I'll add this project to the playlist because I need a, I need to replace at least two plus minor projects because that shit's going down like crazy. I think I eventually will get my money back after like another five, six weeks, and then after that will be pure profit, but yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. So anyway, I'll see you in the next uh, video. Like, subscribe, share this video. Uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, thank you to all the new YouTube uh, subscribers. Uh, and oh, well, there you go. Yeah, this thing's going back up. So all right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. I mean, it's one Binance coin. I mean, just like uh, oh, just like hold on, just make sure I don't get kicked off a cross out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's going up. See, that's what I well, that's what we like to see. We like to see this thing going up. And of course, you'll see this thing go up by one from me. Um, so, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. It's actually going to be a mobile app, uh, a mobile fitness app where you earn crypto for like exercising, like just walking or whatever. It's, this would actually be good for someone like me because I already exercise. So I might as well get paid to do it because such applications already exist, but I just never bothered to install it. So, yeah. I still wonder how do they make their money, but yeah. Well, yeah, look, the contracts are going back up. But yeah, I think seeing this treasury balance is a really big deal, believe it or not. Because now people will be like, oh, yeah, well, we need more money, so let's just use the treasury balance. So, yeah, when I deposit my money, I'm going to actually see if the treasury balance goes up by how much. Oh, actually, it does tell you by how much. Uh, what did it say? The They take 3% of the 8%. So 3 divided by 8, whatever that percentage is. So that percentage of the taxes is goes into this treasury. Okay. So I don't know. Just say like, so I put in one Binance coin, uh, 0 0.03. So 3% of my Binance coin will go into this treasury. So, okay. So I guess when I put it in, I'll just see if this goes up by or whatever. All right. Very good. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. That's how con that's how desperate we are for content. I gotta like cover a freaking mobile app, but at least it's legitimate. And you'll actually get free money. And technically, the token launched yesterday and is already up like 10x. You know, I, I I'm not gonna do the app or whatever, but I just want something on my YouTube channel. Just want something. Oh yeah, look at that, it's going up. Okay, so I better actually get in here. All right, let me get into this project real quick. So, thanks. See you next video. Blah 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 blah.